tourism season usually begins in March. And even with the recent storms that we had in January, we have a big marathon coming up and the show must go on. January storms devastated parts of the city, so could the tourism industry suffer in 2017. Rochelle Beasley, the director of the Albany Convention and Visitors Bureau, says no. I don't think so, just because of the fact that all of our hotels are intact, all of our attractions are intact, with the exception of the museum. That being the Albany Museum of Art, which suffered major damage during the January 2nd windstorm. But the museum is still offering some of its activities, thanks to a space provided by the Thornatiska Heritage Center. We all kind of come together in the hospitality world and just try to help each other and make things work. Although the storm didn't directly hit Albany's tourist attractions, it did take a toll on the upcoming Snickers Marathon. The storm really made an impact on people thinking that our marathon wouldn't continue, but it is. But with fewer participants, around 1,200 runners are expected to take to the streets of Albany in March, nearly 400 fewer than last year. Beasley says parts of the course did see some damage from the storms. We are monitoring the course that did have damage on it to make sure that it's getting cleaned up. And the city will be ready to go for both the Snickers Marathon and its annual Mardi Gras event. It'll be a, just a great time for our community to just have something to cheer about, something to celebrate, something we can all get excited hello, about. Hello, hello. And both events are scheduled for the first weekend in March. For more information, we have the link for you at WALB.com. We're live in downtown Albany this morning. I'm Zach Logan, WALB News 10.